And good morning. It is Monday, a brand new work week, and you've stepped into the right spot. That is Sunshine's Corner. And I want to say, hopefully you had a wonderful weekend, a safe weekend, as a matter of fact. Got some things taken care of. Did you get caught in that rain like I did? Wow, it came down this weekend. However, we're here on a beautiful Monday morning. We got a beautiful day to start off our week. And as always, you know, right here at Sunshine's Corner, we are always gonna fill you with information that's valuable to our community. And today is no different. I want to encourage you to be a part of the conversation. 850-432-776, well, what is it? 7768. You can call or text that number because the young lady that's on with me today, which is all about educating, she's an educator here in our city and school's about to begin next week. I can't believe that it's already gone that way, that quick. Yeah. But today we're gonna be talking about ways that you can get your children involved and that, I call it that personal touch when it's teaching, that you can get that today. Mm -hmm. I have with me today, Miss Kanita. Kinita. Kinita, I yes. knew I was gonna say it wrong. <laughs> okay. I mean like, oh my God, but she's here and we're gonna be talking about educating, teaching our children, keeping our focus, make sure that they're filled with every single thing they need to go because next week is a whole new school year. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, love. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> and thank you for getting up. And yes. You know what? You got into the parking lot better than I did. And I was like, <laughs> I went around and around. And when I walked through the door, once I saw you getting out of the car, I said, oh, she found it because I was looking for you because I wanted to help you get in, right? Yes, ma'am. But you made it in better than me. <laughs> She got it all down together, guys, even much better than I. But you know, that's a good thing because we got a lot to talk about today mm -hmm. with education. And I wanna say to all the educators, we appreciate you. Thank you. We thank you. Thank and you. I mean, uh, I, it's, I don't think it's enough money in the world to pay an educator <laughs> for what they do. I look at it, it like really this isn't. because you all spend more, just as much time with the kids as we do. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. We get them in the afternoon time for them to go home and go to bed. Yes, ma'am. You got them all day. Yes, ma'am. When they got that energy level. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, that's but, correct. You know, but how, how, what, 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 what caused you to get into education? Um, to be honest with you, I've always wanted to do this. Uh, I remember I went to Hallmark Elementary School. Okay. And um, uh, second grade there, uh, you know, we used to do the yearbooks, but at that time you would write what you wanted to be. Right. And I wrote in my yearbook that I wanted to be a teacher and own my own school. Really? <laughs> so, you spoke that thing into existence? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Look ma at that. So of course I went all around the world to come back to it, but that, that was something that I aspired to do as young as second grade. Get out. Yes, And I see we've got a young man with us today. His name is Xavier. Yes. And he is so... <laughs> Mannerable. Thank you, thank you. You have put, this is your great nephew. Great nephew. Yes, yes. And you have put that in him. He's sitting there just reading. Guys, he's doing a puzzle. <laughs> Not saying a word, smiling, just as respectable as ever. <laughs> and he's just a gem. And I mean, no problem with him at all. You know how some kids, they see that, huh, what is that? What is this? What? No, yeah. you said I want you to do this. He's there. But yes, you can tell what you've been instilling in him from the beginning. Yes, ma'am. And that's what it takes because the world begins next week. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it does. Yes. Are you excited? Yes. No. <laughs> Listen, I haven't had a break. You know, I've gone with harmonic learning. It's year round, so I haven't had a break. Really? Yes, So you left the, the, the public school system and you created your own. Yes, ma'am. So I did a combination. I started out actually working with early childhood. Okay. Um, and I did Head Start. You know, I've kind of right. been in the industry uh, for all age groups right. at this point. And, um, and I think everybody should get their child in Head Start. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I believe that everybody should put their children in Head Start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a great catalyst to get them started. Yes, ma'am. If, if not Head Start, you know, Head Start, a good private preschool right. or um, just something that's going to prepare them um, for the classroom exactly. environment. Yes, ma'am. Because Head Start, I think um, when they do that, they're getting that preliminary. So mm -hmm. when they get in the first grade, they're already ahead. Yes, that's the goal. Yes, ma'am. To get the them goal. ahead and prepare that you got to be in this this way. But with Head Start, I like how they give them, they start them off, they're teaching little things, mm -hmm. they give them the naps, they're breaking them in yes. to get them ready for I say that because I'm going to be the guest speaker for that in Alabama next oh, year. Oh, nice. <laughs> I love Head Start. I do, yes. too. It's mm -hmm. great. It's a wonderful federal program. It yes. is. Mm -hmm. And it's been around a long time. Yes, it has. And yes. now, let's talk about harmonic learning. Yes, ma'am. Tell me about it. 
So harmonic learning, um, actually, so I started tutoring, believe it or not, uh, when I was in middle school is when I started tutoring. So it started out, I was the neighborhood babysitter. Okay. And when the parents realized I was a studious, you uh -huh. know, babysitter, they right. would just get me to help them with their children's homework and things like that when I was actually there uh -huh. babysitting. So that's kind of how I got, in, got into tutoring starting in middle school. Rick, did you hear this in middle school? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So um, I went on, uh, you know, into high school and I continued tutoring there. I actually started a tutoring. So how I got into professional tutoring uh -huh. is I started tutoring um, at Spencer Bibbs at that time. Really? There was a write up that the school was closing, you know, uh -huh. it was a uh -huh. DF mm -hmm. school. And so um, I was in the Girl Scouts and I said, you know, I want to start tutoring up there. So I started a tutoring program and, you know, made flyers and the students would right. stay after school and um, I would tutor them to try to help the school um, get the grade back up uh -huh. and so um, I did that in high school right. and uh, Mr. Walter Gully I know him. He, yes, he had the, the uh, BT Ladies and Gents program. Yeah. And so one of the service projects was tutoring uh, uh, at Workman Middle School. So we would walk over and we would tutor at Workman. And then I also did some private tutoring in the neighborhood as well. Gotcha. So I've been tutoring for a while. So that's how harmonic learning and education and training came about. Look at this. You know what? Um, I, I, I listen to you and you don't hear this often. I was in Girl Scouts. That's yes. another great form. In yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I think this is a organization that's been around for umpteen years yes. and still here. Mm -hmm. And it is a way that you can get your daughters mm -hmm. and the Boy Scouts. Yes. It's another way. Yes. You know, people, we don't think about these things, but they're still in existence. Yes. And these things are doing great things about molding our kids, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's what it's doing. And I, when you said that, I smiled on it. She said, oh, I was in the Girl Scouts and all that. I mean, which is good. Mm -hmm. I think that that's finding ways to get your kids ready for tomorrow. Absolutely. You, you know, know, the different badges and things that you yeah, work that you on, to... they cover so many areas of life. Uh huh. You know, life application skills. And so that's what I learned. And my mother was the, the, the leader. Um, so... Oh, I know your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, she was a leader for over 18 years. Yeah, she she was a Girl Scout leader for a long time. God. So that's how I, she know, got started. Yeah, yeah. That's how I got started. Is I was interested in Girl Scouting, and that's how she uh, became a leader. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. But you see, that's all planting those good seeds. Absolutely. And she was right there with you to walk you through it. Then that put that in you to want to do it as well. Yes, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, we can still do it. Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts of America still here. Yes. And I think that's such a great thing. And enroll your children. Yeah. They learn so much from that program. And I love the cooking. Yes, yes, the cookies Look. are still still delicious. <laughs> it was a mint cookie. The thin mints. Oh, <laughs> yes, ma'am. They still make them. They're that delicious. cookie was so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I haven't eaten. Yes, and my, so if you hear my stomach, don't say anything, okay? <laughs> you're not alone. Okay, <laughs> you're not alone. I mean, but that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And then, so this is how uh, harmonic learning mm -hmm. all got started. So yes, let's keep on telling. I, I don't want to cut across the Yes, ma'am. So, um, so I started private. You know, continuing to private tutor, uh -huh. um, even though I was working other jobs and right. I kind of explored other industries. I continued to tutor on the side as parents would need right. it, my friends' children, and um, you know, relatives mm -hmm. and things like. Like that and so um, I decided one day to just put a name to it you know and so that's how the name came about harmonic learning, harmonic learning. and the it's actually named after my great niece her name's Harmony um, but then also uh, take a three-part uh, approach mm -hmm. and so we blend love fun and learning so it's the harmony of those three her name being Harmony right and so that's how I came up with oh, harmonic honey. learning. Now, when you say, okay put it like this because you got smaller classroom sizes and mm -hmm. so therefore it's more of a one on one. Yes, ma'am. So we're we're education and training. So right. we provide educational support right. um, to students who are already enrolled in school. Of course. So whether they're private school, public school, home school, uh -huh. um, if the child needs additional support, then they can bring them over to harmonic learning. And we do have a private, you know, one on one to small group sizes, no more than four or five. There you go. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's that's good. Mm -hmm. So I mean, and with that. 
Um, so that causes a child to be more, to if it's something they're having difficulty with, mm -hmm. they can do better with it. Absolutely. To get that, what do you call it? Uh, making waves. You yes, ma'am. Then you said uh, leveling up their skills. Yes, uh, ma'am. Over the summer mm -hmm. and uh, all that good stuff. Yes, ma'am. So I see you have sports. You have everything. The curriculum is a little bit of everything. Yes, ma'am. That is great thinking right there because kids need that today. Yes, ma'am. And I mean, I commend you on that. Thank you. you Thank know? you. And I, uh, it was so many other things that I saw. I mean, you see, I've been, <laughs> you know. And with school kicking off on next week, this is what you offer. Let's talk about all of these things. I see I see you have focuses on the math skills. Mm -hmm. What is the subject that you, you find that kids meet, need the most help with? Honestly, reading. Yes, yes. Our county, Scambia County, uh, we have a, about, if not over, um, close to about 50% of our students are not reading at grade level. So, yes, hmm. ma'am, yeah. So reading is, is, a, is a big issue. Um, you know, we, we, two, two things with reading, I'm, you know, I have students who are, they can read the words, but they don't have good comprehension skills. They don't understand what they're They don't mean. understand what they're reading. Um, so they're fluent, mm -hmm. you would consider they're fluent, they can read the words on the page, but they have a problem with comprehension. They can't answer questions about their, what, you know, what they're reading. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have students who are actually having a hard time decoding, reading at the word level. Like they can't read the words on the actual page. Oh, really? So you know, reading is the, the biggest issue that... Where do you think that comes from? I mean... Um, it's a combination of things. You know, we've had changes with reading instruction over the years. Um, schools kind of dial back on the the, um, the funnest instruction that they were providing in the mm -hmm. classroom. A uh, combination of screen time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I know parents don't like to hear that, but it's the honest truth. Right. Screen time has been a big issue. Students are not picking up books like they used to. Absolutely. Um, the libraries are not, you know, as full as they used to be. Uh, and I'm talking about, you know, just even public libraries uh -huh. are not as full as they used to be. Um, so we just need kids doing more reading at home. Right. Um, a lot of times. Putting the, these devices down. Putting the devices down at the end of the day putting the, the, the devices down. Wow, mm -hmm. and uh, when you say that, you know, with the, they, they can read, mm -hmm. they can pronounce the words. Yes, yes, they can but read the words on they the can't page. tell you what the meaning of what that sentence is that they just read. No. So therefore, this is uh, some of the things that you teach them mm -hmm. how to comprehend. Yes, ma'am. So therefore, they gotta learn what these words mean. So you gotta, so you gotta go all the way mm -hmm. down to teach everything to get them back. People, my dear parents, my dear friends, my dear community, we've got help. Listen, if you know that you've got a child that was struggling at the end of the year, mm -hmm. now that the psalm is over, get them ready. Yes, ma'am. Have that set up. Mm -hmm. Get so reach out to Miss Mitchell so that you can get that child ready so they won't fall behind. Because then when they fall behind, I think sometimes when the younger people they get embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let's tackle that right now. Yeah, proactive, and that's the thing. We, we have to get parents being more proactive. Don't wait until you start seeing the C's and the D's. You know, go ahead and have the support. And, and we have to shift the narrative of tutoring. Right. You know, a lot of people think tutoring, oh, it's for children who are struggling. No, tutoring is to prevent that. There you go. You know, <laughs> so there you go. if your child is, is consistently enrolled in some type of academic enrichment, then it will prevent them from falling behind. Absolutely. Now so. that's great. Preventive measures. Exactly. Listen, we are talking with Ms. Mitchell here today with Harmonic Learning. Yes. We're going to come back and we're going to tell you more about all of the things that I got a whole list of things that she does so that you can be a part of this. And parents, do not delay preventive measures. If you see your child was struggling yes. last year, the summer they didn't go to school, they're going to be struggling again when it starts next week. Mm -hmm. So let's do these preventive measures and get them ready. Stay with us, we'll be back with more right here, Harmonic Learning on Sunshine's Corner. Empire Truck Sales, located at 2255 West Detroit Boulevard in Pensacola, is your Freightliner, Western Star, Detroit Diesel, and Cummins dealer for Northwest Florida. Open seven days a week, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., Saturdays and Sundays, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., providing sales, service, and parts. 
Empire Truck Sales is also your Oasis dealer for Freightliner custom chassis RV and motorhome repairs. Running I-10 will get you in. Many who consider facial plastic surgery are concerned their results will look unnatural. But with over 20 years of serving the Pensacola community, his thousands of satisfied patients have made Dr. Derek Jones a trusted reconstructive and facial plastic surgeon known for industry-leading results that look natural. Call 850-484-FACE to schedule a consultation at one of our locations in Pensacola and Gulf Breeze. I'm Dr. Derek Jones. Trust your face to a facial plastic surgeon. Lloyd's Glass and Crick Calibration Services is a one-stop shop because you can come get your windshield replaced and right behind that replacement at the same appointment we will calibrate the cameras and when you leave everything's ready to go. There's no need to go to the dealership or there's no need to come back for another appointment. We just take care of it at one time. We put the customer first and we strive to do everything right the first time. Lloyd's Glass and Correct Calibration Services, your one-stop shop with same-day service. Animal Allies is looking for volunteers and there are many ways that you can help. From taking care of cats to using your computer and social media skills, any and all assistance is greatly appreciated. We have morning and afternoon shifts every day or help at adoption events. You can even foster a kitty at home. And it counts towards community service hours for bright futures. Find Animal Allies Florida on Facebook and Instagram or go to aaflorida.org slash volunteer. And welcome back to Sunshine's Corner on this Monday. Happy Monday. So glad to have you with me. Now tell somebody to tell somebody, look, this is where you need to be because we're being informed today of some things that you can have for your kids for those preventive measures. I like that. Thank you. When you said that, and you also have, what we talk about, uh, a book T? What do you yes, call it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The book T is what now? The book T is Harmonic Learning Multicultural Children's Book T. Okay. Um, the book T came about from students who um, would come and they would they didn't have experience with books where they could see themselves in the in the of pages. Not. And so um, I had all those books in the in the the center. Mm -hmm. And so I found that students who were reluctant readers, they were more willing to read a book where there were characters um, like them. and stories that looked like them. Culture. And for the culture that they could relate. And so I said, you know what? We need to see more of this, um, you know, and it's not to say that these books are not in the libraries and the bookstores, but typically you have to dig a little bit more. Now I can say I, I see them more on the front of the shelves mm -hmm. now, but I wanted a place where the children, they don't have to dig. Mm -hmm. All of the books are there. Are there. So from, you know, African American, Asian American, mm -hmm. Native American, mm -hmm. Hispanic, mm -hmm. you know, um, whatever the it. books, all of it. How do you feel about this trying to take the black history, take our history out of school? I have a problem with that. I have a big problem <laughs> with that too. <laughs> Especially since, you know, who my history teachers were exactly. growing up. I, I mentioned one, you know. Right. And so, yeah, that's, so to that I say, parents have to be willing to do the work at home. Mm -hmm. You know, some things you can change but the change may not happen in your child's generation. That's right. So are you going to allow them to miss out? Mm -hmm. No. You do the work at home. Exactly. You enroll them in the programs. You you know, you know take them to the, like, the Black uh, Community Cafe. They just had a story time mm -hmm. there with Ms. Gatson. That's my girl. You, uh, yes, ma'am. So you take them places like that to supplement mm -hmm. what they're not going to get in the classroom. Absolutely. I mean, these are some great entities that you've got set up that the uh, parents need to be aware of. And I really want to encourage the parents, preventive. Yes, ma'am. And you also made a point, you made a statement that I was not aware of. The reason why so many of these kids are excelling is because they've been going through tutoring the whole time. Absolutely. Not wait until they got to the point where they had to have it. Exactly. But the parents had them there throughout. Absolutely. Students who are considered, you know, we would consider high achieving students. These are your um, your students who are enrolled in gifted programs. Mm -hmm. In high school, these are your students who are AP students, your dual enrollment students, um, students that are graduating with high honors, mm -hmm. you know, students who have high ACT, SAT mm -hmm. scores, scores. 
majority of them accomplish those academic achievements with a tutor. <laughs> All through. All through. Not just waiting. No. And you know, I think also with that being said, even if your child just has one subject they're having a little difficulty mm -hmm. with, then do what you got to do so that can, you know, ease that problem Absolutely. and get the understanding. You know, it's like when you're talking, think about this when you're having a conversation and something hits you and the light bulb come on. Mm -hmm. I call that that light bulb moment. You get it? Yes, ma'am. That's such a relief. Yes, ma'am. Oh, God, you feel so, oh, I got it. You know, mm -hmm. and so how can you imagine what a child feels mm -hmm. when they get the understanding of all of these curriculums that they got to go through? Yes. All these different classes. I'm, I'm really pondering on this because school begins next week on the 12th. Yes, ma'am. And that's what, Monday? Yes, ma'am. Wow. Yes, ma'am. One week from today. Mm -hmm. Please, parents, let's do this. I know sometimes you want to say, not my child. Right. But yes, my child. Not my child is the time you really need to go ahead. You better get this. You better do this. No, get them the help that they need. Exactly. And I think that is great with harmonic learning. That is that, that is really what you're doing. You're taking that time to instill in them in so many other ways. I see here when you've got, um, what is this? Mastery learning. Yes, and that yes. is. So that is allowing a child to master a subject. Uh -huh. So all too often, you know, we the, the schools have what we consider pacing guides. Uh -huh. um, and so that is set down by the state, which is set down by the district that says, you know, this is all of the material that we would like you to cover. cover. These mm -hmm. are the standards. And ideally you want to spend, you know, three weeks on this or two weeks on this. Well, for some students, they may not get it in the time period in which a teacher covers it. Exactly. And so that teacher, because of the pacing guide, you know, they have to move along. So the students, if they're not able to move along at the pace of that teacher, uh -huh. um, and again, not by the fault of the teacher, this is set down from state to mm -hmm. district, then that child continues to fall behind. And so some of these uh, particular subjects, you know, like math, you build mm -hmm. from one lesson to the other. So if they haven't mastered, say, lesson 1.1, mm -hmm. but lesson 1.1 was a prerequisite for 1.2. Uh-oh, so you've already. Exactly. Oh my God. So. See, I that's so what, the what you're saying, like, it's when, it, you can't say, okay, well, Miss Jones, you didn't do this. No, Miss Jones has a curriculum she's got to go by as well. So that child can easily get left behind. Yes. Because she has to move on, not by her own accord, but she's got to do by what the state says she's yes. got to do. Yes. Unbelievable. Teachers eventually have to move on. And it's not that, you know, and again, it's not that they don't. They don't want, they have to. You right. Know, you have to cover a certain amount of skills mm -hmm. and standards by the end of the school year. Because you got 20 to 25 people in your class. Exactly. So some children just need more time. That's why I always say it's not that your child can't learn. Sometimes, depending on the concept mm -hmm. of the skill, they just need a little bit more time with it that they won't be able to get in the classroom. Absolutely. And that is where having education, educational support after school can assist with. And your client, you and they can get into this. They can mm -hmm. they can enroll with you now. Yes, they can. Yes, I'm enrolling right now for our Brainchild Achievers, and then also students who and Brainchild Achievers is for took the words off my lips. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it is for grades one through five. Mm -hmm. It is a small group. It's designed for students who are on grade level or um, above, and they want to stay on grade level, or those that's just slightly be below grade level and they want to get to grade level, um, because all too often then students that's on grade level sometimes fall behind. Of course. And so um, having those students, and then we have private for students who need some intensive mm -hmm. instruction. They need one-on-one. -on -one. They, you know, they mm -hmm. wouldn't do well in a small group environment. Um, and then we have the study success squad. That is for middle and high school students. Study success squad. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So that's academic coaching for our students who are, um, you know, the, the cords being cut a little bit. They, mm -hmm. they need to be able to navigate, mm -hmm. uh, learning on their own a little bit more. You know, in middle school and high school, you don't have teachers sitting by you saying, right. hey, you got to do, 
you know, at middle school, high school teachers, they're seeing 100 students, Absolutely. you know, throughout the course of the day. So they don't have time to to be your cheerleader as much as a, you know, elementary but student. Of course. So, and so I'm the cheerleader for the middle and high school students. You. That's the study success squad. And so it's for students who need just a little bit more support, um, but they're having to learn how to navigate a little bit more independently. I'm looking at Xavier. Yes. He's eight years old. <laughs> Yes. He's got that puzzle over there, that word search, and he is so into that. <laughs> and I'm saying that because you've, you're training him already, yes, trained up a child in the way that they should go. Mm -hmm. And you're instilling that. And I say that because I'm watching him. You haven't heard a word out of him yet. <laughs> and he's sitting there. He's eight years old. He just turned eight last month. And, uh, but still, he's, still, he's focused. And I think with these, um, you know, the things that you offer to keep the kids focused is a great thing. And I really want to encourage that parents to please call and talk to her. Yes, ma'am. Get in touch with her. Allow her to be that catalyst that's going to help that child so that child won't fall behind yes, before school starts. Exactly. Exactly. I yes. mean, because it is there, and they got, and I mean, I don't, I, I don't like to hear people say, oh, you know, well, this school over here is failing with that in that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I, I think we can do better. Mom, dad, we got to play, we play a big part in this. Yes. So we have to be able to. I see on here you said, uh, also with the screen free, we were talking about staying off this. Mm -hmm. Let's yes, go a little bit deeper because that, that's a big problem I think we have now. It is. It's a huge problem. It's a huge problem in our schools, especially middle and high school. Mm -hmm. um, students, the screens are, it's short. So, you know, if you look at kids who are, are on screens continuously, you know, um, we look at social media, the average social media clip, you know, 30 seconds, right? right. And your mind is automatically jumping to mm -hmm. something else. So when you take a child who, you know, looks at clips all day, 30 seconds, and you have uh, highly animated cartoons and YouTube videos and things, and then you place them in a classroom setting that is less stimulating, mm -hmm. they don't want to focus because their mind is constantly mm -hmm. going, going, going 100 miles per hour. And now they're forced to slow down to fit 10, 15 miles per hour. Get out. Their brains don't want to do it. Right. And so now this child is having a hard time staying still. They're fidgeting. They're looking all around because they're looking for that stimulation that they're used to. You believe in the medication they're giving them now to keep them focused? It depends on the child, okay. case by case. Mm -hmm. um, some child ADHD is definitely real. Okay. It is definitely real. However, our environments can make symptoms worse. Right. There's so you know we say sugar sugar doesn't cause it, but it'll <laughs> yes. make it worse. Yeah, bounce lots of Exactly. <laughs> you know, um, a lot of screen time doesn't cause it, <laughs> but, but it'll make it worse. Exactly. You know, um, our diet doesn't cause it, but, it's but it'll definitely make, make it worse. It can make the symptoms worse. So I do believe in a holistic approach to uh -huh. um, students who may struggle with ADHD. Um, and that will be with their diet and mm -hmm. things like that. Um, exercises plays a big part yep. of that. But I also understand that some parents um, are either they don't have the time to really shift their diet and get that exercise or some, you know, may not have the finances to mm -hmm. be able to do so. And so in cases like that, I always say um, something's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. So and a child who has ADHD, um, who does not have any interventions at all, mm -hmm. um, they will continue to struggle. So either look into prescription meds mm -hmm. or look into a holistic approach, but you got to do something. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you I have agree. to do, you I can't agree. ignore it. No, you, you can't. can't ignore it. And uh, sometimes, uh, I, I know because kids are smart. Yes. Yes. They will woo you and make you think one thing if you're not on top of it. Absolutely. And when it's totally something mm -hmm. opposite. Yes. And I mean that because all you have to do is watch them mm -hmm. and you can see what they will do. I mean, come on. Yes. My kids are grown, but. They're very smart. They're smart. <laughs> and uh, I, I say, I, I, we're only touching on these things because school begins on next week. Miss Ardelia, good morning. Uh, and everybody knows this, that when school is in, I mean, should we got to get them back on the path of going to bed on time? Absolutely. All of this plays a role in their being successful in this upcoming school year. Yes, ma'am. I mean, going to bed on time. Stop buying all that McDonald's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
you get know, some healthy breakfast. Get them a get and, and buy them a bowl of, if it's just a bowl of good cereal. Exactly. Does the schools serve breakfast now? They do. They do. So um, you can go on the school's website. I, I want to say we have. 66 schools, I think they said this year, that serve free, um, free, free, free lunch, free breakfast. And so, you know, they just got to get the children there uh, on time. Okay. Um, for those who are not bus riders, you know, get them there on time. Right. Um, and just encourage your children. <laughs> I know to, they got to get up early, but they ain't no good thing, but golly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they got to get them there. They got to get them there. Yeah, a lot of children do miss breakfast, especially at the high school level. Um, they miss breakfast because they get there too late. Yeah. Because that's a meal that's gonna get you started, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that will, even though I haven't had mine yet. Yeah, <laughs> same, same. <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna eat it, Xavier, yes. soon. Yes. But what I'm he saying, had his. <laughs> oh, you see, he's already had his. That's why he's so focused in that book. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, these are all things that we gotta connect the dots. Yes. To complete the sentence. Holistic approach. Okay. Yes, The entire, so that all works. Getting up early, getting them into bed. Don't be up no 12 o'clock at night. Be in that bed and sleeping mm -hmm. by 10. Yes, yes. So, because you get eight hours then if you're up by six. Yes, yes. I mean, that's the part about it. This is such important information, my dear friends. If you have questions like to talk to uh, Ms. Mitchell, you can do that as well by calling 850-432-7768. I want to hear from you. We're coming back with more because I got a list to cover of things that she's doing this year to help your children right here on Sunshine's Corner. Need a new outfit for a special occasion? Look no further than Biola's Men's Apparel. Biola's has been providing the latest styles and accessories in Pensacola for over 20 years now. We have clothes for every occasion and we offer consultations and group discounts. You can trust that our care, quality, and class will be unmatched. Biola's Men's Apparel, for all of your men wear needs. This is Wayne at Icon Automotive in Robertsdale, Alabama, and I wanted to tell you more about our powertrain warranty forever. It comes with any vehicle we sell that has 80,000 miles or less at no additional cost to you. We put our vehicles through a tough safety and mechanical inspection before it can have the powertrain warranty forever, giving you a peace of mind with your purchase. This warranty is good anywhere in the country and it covers 100% of parts and labor with no mileage limit and is covered as long as you own the vehicle. Come pick out your dealership car at non-dealership pricing with the powertrain warranty forever at Icon Automotive. Watch a new episode of Crime Stoppers Wanted Fugitives every Friday at 6 p.m. Hosted by Sergeant Melanie Peterson and David Craig. Your tips may be eligible for a cash reward. Featuring items about officer training, various aspects of police work, and crime prevention information. You'll hear about upcoming family-friendly engagement events as well. Don't miss Crime Stoppers Wanted Fugitives every Friday at 6 p.m. Go back to being a kid again. Head on over to Bubba's Sweet Spot. We've got house-made caramels, fudge, pralines, marshmallows, and lots and lots and lots and lots of chocolate. Looking for more traditional candy? We've got you. Our walls are covered head to toe in all the classics, from taffy to gummies and lollipops to gumballs. And don't forget our ice cream. With endless toppings and dipped cones, we've got what you're craving. Let us take you back to a time when every problem could be solved with candy at Bubba's Sweet Spot. And welcome back to the hottest spot in town. We're talking about Sunshine's Corner, where we talk about nothing but the things that's going to be beneficial for you right in the community. And of course, our education. This week, I'm going to be strong on that because I want to keep that top of mind, ladies and gentlemen, parents, mom and dad, because next week is the beginning of a whole new school year. Yes, ma'am. And let's not, um, our kids, we don't want them to fall behind. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay to want this, want that, earn it. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Earn it. Absolutely. Now, I'm not just going to give it to you, earn it. I also see here, you get them, I mean, stress, kids' stress levels. Yes. They, you know, when you have a kindergarten classroom with 25 students in it, you know, um, because of the teacher shortages, right. you know, we have some, some pretty high numbers for some teachers, you know, um, 36, 38, 40 in a high school uh, English class. Wow. And so that's stressful. How many? 30, you can have anywhere from 35. 30 to 40. I've, I've seen close to 40 students on a, on a, red, on a roster. Yes, ma'am. 
So it's 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 a lot. And teacher shortage is a, is a big is real contributor to that. Mm -hmm. um, but, but stress free, stress free, and so the goal is again mastery, and so the stress free comes in that it's okay for them to make mistakes, right? Because through our mistakes is when we learn, mm -hmm. you know. And so not having the pressure of grades, and you know, when you take that that remove that pressure of grading, you'd be surprised what children are willing to do and how much they're willing to try, right? When and you remove some of those pressures. And so, you know, realizing that, hey, I can come in, I can get something wrong 10 times in a row, and that's okay. Because guess what, that 11th time is I when that it. light bulb goes there. That's that light bulb again. And once that light bulb goes off, mm -hmm. it's there. Listen, do you think sometimes um, with, oh God, I'll say this because with the curriculums now, when you, it's not like it was when I was in school. It's different. They are heavy. <laughs> I mean, if I didn't have a calculator on certain things, that would be like, oh my. Yeah. But do you think sometimes that the parents mm -hmm. may feel, oh, I can't get this. Absolutely. You know, I don't understand this. It's not like I was with the reading, writing, and, you know, and the arithmetic. They didn't say mm -hmm. arithmetic. It was read, writing, arithmetic. Yes, ma'am. But... Do you think that sometimes the parents may be embarrassed? I believe that is a contributor to it. Because well. I don't understand it, so you better get it, son. You know you can get this. Parents need help to help the children. Mm -hmm. So do you, how do you reach some parents if you have, if you run into situations like that? How would you handle that? To let parents know it's okay, you're being educated yourself. I, I was gonna say, so <laughs> believe it or not, um, I have quite a few children who parents are teachers that okay. attend harmonic learning. Okay. So if that removes the pressure, that should remove the pressure mm -hmm. that even teachers can say, you know what, you know, I might have a elementary teacher uh -huh. whose student is taking, you know, algebra two. Right. Calculator. Right. They're like, <laughs> I mean, that's me. I'll say calculator. Right. right. And it's just like. I'm an elementary teacher. Uh -huh. I, I don't teach Algebra 2. Right. And so they will bring their student who uh -huh. is enrolled in Algebra 2 to harmonic learning. Right. So if teachers can Need bring... Need the help. <laughs> there Come you on, go. mama. <laughs> uh -huh. You know? So, and don't yeah. be embarrassed about don't it. Don't be embarrassed. Don't it's be embarrassed. It's ways that we can learn. to. It's all about getting our kids to excel. And you know it's got to be difficult because uh, if a child gets to the point where they think they're going to pass mm -hmm. and they don't, Mm -hmm. That can be traumatic, yes. you know, and that will cause them maybe to want to drop out. Because yes. I do know that in some research that I've been reading that the dropout level here is high. Yes. So we want to prevent that. Mm -hmm. Harmonic learning. Absolutely. I mean, get them in so they can learn how to focus. And uh, let's see this other part on here I want to yes, ask you about. I mean, focus on the, uh, the reading skills we've already covered. Mm -hmm. uh, activities. Activities. Uh -huh. So I try to make everything again because it's screen free. Um, everything is fun. You know, it's hands on. Movement is involved. So students who may be ADHD, they learn better when they're able to move. Okay. And a lot of times they don't get that opportunity in the classroom. Of course not. Um, because you know, there's just moments where they have to sit. Uh, but at Harmonic Learning, I tell them desks are optional. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna, if we wanna sit on the floor and we do this this game on the floor, this uh -huh. math game on the floor, and they're moving and they're you know they're right, rocking, right, right. they can do that. Again, the goal is not to keep get them to keep still when they're at harmonic learning. The goal is to get them to learn. Uh -huh. So providing them providing them the environment to learn. And children need to be able to move. Right. And they stay a little bit more sedentary in the classroom than, mm -hmm. you know, previous generations. Right. And so we have to remove that obstacle, allow them the ability to move so they can, again, learn the content. Once they learn the content and they master the content, then at that point they can apply it in a setting mm -hmm. in which they may have to be a little bit more sedentary. I so everything's act activity-based, hands-on, um, where they're allowed to move and touch and manipulate things. And, and the culture also, uh, we talked about that a moment ago, uh, as far as some of the kids, um, when the classrooms are so filled. Yeah. They are, sometimes some things get left behind. Yes, ma'am. And um, when they come to harmonic learning, mm -hmm. all of that's inclusive, but yet teaching them that there are other ways in the world too. Absolutely. That it all comes together because we got to have all these dots connected in order to be successful. Yes, ma'am. And uh, I just want to say, because as I continue to talk to you and I see so many things that you're doing, I commend you. Thank you. Thank on you. On taking the time to start this. Uh, to be able to help our children. Yes, ma'am. And I encourage you, parents, how can they get in touch with you? So the number to the center is one eight three 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 3 learn 3 
Oh, how cute. Yes, okay. Sir, thank you. one eight three 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 learn 3 um, The website is harmoniclearningedu.com. Right. And so they can go on there. Um, you can look at the different programs that we have available. Mm -hmm. um, just click register. It's free to register. Uh -huh. um, at that time, you schedule a free consultation. Right. You will speak with me. Uh -huh. And we can we can talk about the All needs. These. Everything that they need, um, what their concerns are, and what programs we have available to to uh, you know meet the needs of that child. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely, utterly important. And I cannot emphasize this. Parents, please, if you know that your child was suffering last year, mm -hmm. let's get it this year so we can nip it in the bud. Absolutely. So that we can get them ready to go on and not feel so out of place because I can imagine when a child gets this and he's like, oh, I failed again. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't make it again. So here's a way. And I like that preventive. Yes, ma'am. Okay, study. Don't just wait till you see the problem. Don't. Get it going all along so there will not be a problem. Yes, ma'am. Because if you know it, go ahead. And I was going to say good signs that your child needs a tutor need uh -huh. versus, like, again, we want proactive, but we also have a population of students who need it mm -hmm. and they're not getting it. You right. Know, like you said, for whatever reason, embarrassment, I don't know, but mm -hmm. they need it. Um, but like you said, if they struggled in the previous school year, right. um, they're going to need a tutor. Of course. If they were required to go mm -hmm. to summer school, they're going to need a tutor. And so start the school year with one. Don't wait until they get the infamous retention letter that uh -huh. your child may be retained and now you want to, because those letters typically go out December, January. At that point, that can be a, that can be a little late, and so really? I get calls, you know, March and April, oh, get out. saying, "Can you stop my child from failing?" Oh my God, you then, then it, because the school year is almost over. Absolutely, you call in March and April. Oh, so you're saying that this letter they already know because they've gotten it they at the end of the year. They know around by the end of the year, around oh, December, wow. January. So you're gonna procrastinate child. another three or four months. Exactly. Now it's time for graduations. Okay, mm -hmm. I can't do it. You don't have enough credits. You don't have this. Mm -hmm. You can't get through. Let's not do that, mom no, and dad. No, uncle. No, anybody who's that got the first children. report card will tell you. Amen. <laughs> I remember those days. Yes. God, I remember those days. Yes. But there's something else that you said I think that's um, rather befitting that the parents and everybody need to realize. This, we're talking about the education for your child. Mm -hmm. This is determining with their future. Uh, education, we've got to have it. I think some of the things that we see with all the trouble that we have, mm -hmm. there's a lack. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm just being as transparent as I know how. Absolutely. So that we can prevent these measures in more than one way. Absolutely. When a child is given when they have the knowledge, mm -hmm. because I know that knowledge is power. Absolutely. But then in the world how it is now, and I say this to everybody that's sitting in that chair, ain't everybody going to be a rapper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ain't everybody going to be a basketball player. <laughs> Everybody's not going to be a football player. No. So come on, academics. Yes. If, okay, now if you like to rap, do that, but get your education. Absolutely. Let that be a sidekick. Absolutely. Because, I mean, come on. You look at the music industry today. Mm -hmm. No. We, our children need options. And like you said, when, when you don't focus on academics, uh -huh. you're limiting their options. Absolutely. You know, so like you said, okay, you want to rap, but also be an achiever mm -hmm. in academics. Mm -hmm. And so you have something in addition to Absolutely. that. And so we we need more people enrolled at George Stone. We need more trades. Well, guess what? You have to read. Yeah, I tell you. <laughs> you know? And not like, I can I, No, right. read and comprehend. You have to read. Read and comprehension. You exactly. have manuals and things exactly. that you have to learn. Exactly. And so that's why I believe that a lot of our, you know, we keep saying, oh, our, our kids need trades. Well, a lot of our kids, they're not reading at a level needed that they can get there that they can even get there and understand even what George Stone has to offer. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We're talking about when, when we said this is brought to mind a friend of mine and um, he's in the music industry. Mm -hmm. He loves it. He sings, but he knows how the industry works. And I was so proud of him when he passed the bar. Yeah. That's wow. He wow. passed the bar. Wow. He is an attorney, but he's doing his little music thing now, but it. practicing his law mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that is, I actually said, oh my God, I commend you. Mm -hmm. Sure, you have a voice. You can sing. I love it. 
You can write music. But during this process, he continued on and passed a bar. I love it. I love it. You That's know, what we need. Those are the kind of things that we need. If you want to sing or think you want to get into that industry, don't give up on your education now. That's right. Still get your education. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, let's say if something happened to him and he couldn't go out there, you can always practice law. That's what I say with sports. The minute they get a, a, a injury, injury that's that, it. Mm -hmm. Let's say that if he could, I mean, oh, come on, people. If he got a cold, his larynx, was, I mean, his laryngitis, well, uh, mm -hmm. I can't do it. He's got a way he can go practice law. They got to take it out of his throat. You understand what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. I look at Frankie Beverly and Mays. He lost his voice yes. out of all those years, mm -hmm. but he did it long enough that he could satisfy, I mean, to go ahead and retire. Mm -hmm. But all I'm saying is this to the parents, our kids, let's put the education first. Let's let them know that, and don't encourage them just to go to the 12th grade. Encourage them to go to college. Exactly. Continue post-secondary. Yes. And that's why I say post-secondary can look, you know, again, it can be traditional college, it can be technical college, right. because that's what George Stone is. Exactly. It's still a college. That's right. It's just technical. It's exactly. a technical college. I was talking about George Stone last night. Absolutely. Wonderful place, you know. And again, we, we have to get more of our children into professions. Mm-hmm. You know, whether that, like I say, lawyer, yeah. plumber, mm -hmm. electrician. All of those. All of those. Those are professions. Mm -hmm. We need our children to enter those professional fields right. so they can take care of themselves and their No families. doubt. Everybody, we're talking about education because school kicks off on Monday. Can you believe it? 20, 25 years here. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, are you ready? <laughs> I mean, but get ready. For, let's put the kids first. We're going to talk more about how you can get involved because I tell you, when you're talking about a good conversation, the time clicks so fast. Yes. We got so much more to tell you before we get out of here so that you'll be ready. You can call to get your child enrolled to get them to do the preventive measures mm -hmm. so they can continue their education right here, Sunshine's Corner. I just remembered it's election day. Are you going to vote? I don't know. I don't think I'll have time today. Millions of eligible voters in America never make it to the polls or even register to vote. When you don't vote, you're letting other people make decisions for you and pick the things your taxes will pay for. Voting is more than a civic duty. It gives you a voice about the priorities and the future of your community and our nation. Voting gives you a seat at the table. Do you want to create but don't know where to start? Our new fabric line will inspire you. If you can dream it, we can help you make it. From using kits that include everything you would need, to taking classes to create something more personalized, Daryl's is the place for you. No matter if you're just beginning or experienced, Daryl's has you covered. Find us at 6705 North Davis Highway. Open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. The Reesburg Institute, Pensacola's Ear, Nose, Throat, and Voice Center. We welcome you to visit us at our convenient Davis Highway location in Pensacola. At the Reesburg Institute, we offer the most advanced treatment available in a calm, stress-free environment. Since 2014, we've performed over a thousand cases in Office of Balloon Sinus Surgery, as well as septoplasty and nasal procedures using oral sedation. The in-office procedures result in a faster healing time. Visit us and feel the difference. Hello, my name is Eric, and this was my first visit to Little John's. The selection, uh, the pricing here, and the customer service were outstanding. I would definitely recommend. Uh, the staff was very friendly, and they'll get you what you need. Hi, this is John with Little John's Big and Tall here in Pensacola, Florida at 5700 North Davis Highway. Check us out at littlejohnsbigandtall.com where we can take care of you with extra large up to 14X and large tall to 6X tall. And welcome back. I had to take a sip, guys, because we were talking about some heavy stuff behind the scenes. But listen, <laughs> we're talking about education. We're talking about getting ready for school that begins on next week. We're talking about harmonic learning. And I love that harmonic learning. And why it puts me in the mind of a, uh, you know that harmonica? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I, I get people say that harmonica learning. I'm yeah, like, no, I get that. I mean, you know, and that, but that's the picture that goes in my head when we yes, talk about that. But there's so many things that you offer and uh, to help our kids to make sure that their school year can be more of a success. Absolutely. Uh, because Absolutely. Uh, keys to learning, we got to make sure. I don't care how old you are, parents, be the parent. 
Mm-hmm. Please don't get upset at me. I'm just being real. Be the parent. Tell your child what's best. Do what's best for the child. And they'll appreciate it later on anyway. Absolutely. I guarantee you they will. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Can you imagine a child getting the light bulb and understanding what they got to do ahead of time when they walk into that classroom mm-hmm. with a clear understanding yes. that I don't have to feel like I'm set aside because everybody else is getting it. I'm over in the corner. Back in the day, they used to put you in the corner with the dust cap. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they're not doing it. Now they just keep moving. I was going to say, they just keep moving along. And your child just continues to sit there confused. Exactly. Yeah. And to fall behind. Yes. And we don't want that because that, there are so many ways that we found out. And I didn't get a chance to hit everything that's on there. Mm. I did not because there's so many other things that she's got. But the fact of it is what you've got to do now is make the phone call. Yes, ma'am. Go to the website. Get started now for those preventive measures. When you're saying that you need, know that your child need help, don't neglect that for those $200 tennis shoes. Did I say that out loud? Yes, I did. Yes, ma'am, you did. <laughs> not for those yeah. two that they didn't have not earned. Yeah, absolutely. Don't, I, mean, I mean, come on now. Absolutely. What they call them when they're not there, I don't want that bobo shoe. Mm-hmm. Okay, can you, if, if you don't want the bobo shoe, give me a reason to buy you that $200 tennis shoe. Which Absolutely. I'm not going to buy no tennis shoe for no $200 anyway. Nope. No way. <laughs> not happening I over mean, here. come on now. I'm, look, the, the, the most expensive shoe I'll buy is that Chuck Taylor. I love myself mm-hmm. some Converse, right? Mm-hmm. But you can get that on sale at Ross for $29. There you go. I, the most I'll buy, Brooks. I love my Brooks uh-huh. when I'm running and uh-huh. moving around with the children. Come on. But even those are not $200. No. <laughs> They're not. No, they're not. I mean, come on. So what we're saying, invest, yeah, invest, you have to invest. invest. And investing in education does not mean that he, they got to have an iPhone mm-hmm. in the third grade. Yeah. Come on, somebody. You know, when you say invest, mm-hmm. I look at it like this. I recently just had a student. She's a senior this year. Mm-hmm. She has been tutoring at Harmonic Learning for three, four years. Come math on. math was not her subject. Strong reader, um, but math wasn't her subject. Mm-hmm. So every year her mother started the school year exactly. with a math tutor. Well, needless to say, um, and she did some SAT, ACT tutoring mm-hmm. with us as well. And guess what? She just earned her bright futures. See? So that investment that her mother made uh-huh. for tutoring for three years was over 100% return. That's right. Because now this child has a bright future scholarship. Exactly. That oh, is paying wow. for, look at that. That's paying for 75% of her tuition. See? And trust me, she'll earn scholarships for the other 25% Absolutely. because she has the GPA, mm-hmm. she has the test scores. Mm-hmm. So you will get a return on that. No investment. doubt. And, and when it's your child. Uh, when you're investing in their future mm-hmm. and yep. not their feet. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Absolutely. I'm just so against them, them expensive shoes. Yes, ma'am. I mean, I'm so against that. I mean, I don't know. Parents, if, don't, please don't misunderstand me. I said I, personal pronoun, do not believe in buying those shoes. I think that's a waste. Mm-hmm. I'm making somebody else so rich and my child feeling. Do you understand what I'm saying? Especially when their feet are still growing. Exactly. As fast as they're I growing. I mean, please. I would never with that one. No way. <laughs> I mean, he's enjoying them shoes he got on right over mm-hmm. there now. Yep. He's enjoying them. Mm-hmm. And he's going to get the same steps. Absolutely. And, and don't do that. Invest in their education. School begins next week. There's a program here that you can get your child ahead. You can get your child mm-hmm. prepared so that they will not get a letter in December saying that they cannot go forward. That's right. I mean, so come on. That's right. Join in. Start the, early. Start early. Preventive. Mm-hmm. Yes, Let's give them again how they can get in touch with you. Uh, 1-833-3-LEARN-3 uh, is the number to the center. Mm-hmm. Again, 1-833-3-LEARN-3. Mm-hmm. We're located off of Michigan Avenue. That's where I was going next. Yes, ma'am. So we're located off of Michigan Avenue mm-hmm. inside of Pensacola Heritage Title. Okay. And so we are inside of Pensacola Heritage Title with Miss Ford. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And so um, so sweet too. So uh-huh. you will see her signage, not that's mine. Right. Um, but that's where we're located, Michigan Avenue. Again, one 833 H three 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 learn three and the website is harmoniclearningedu.com. Give me that number. Can, uh, can, can, in, do you know one eight three three? What are the numbers? Three learn three. Okay. So but, three five three two seven six three. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, ma'am. So because you know they go. You know some people might be going. Like, oh, what you say? 
<laughs> yes, ma'am. So 1-833-353-2763. One more time. 1-833-353-2763. Don't miss out on this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> if you missed it, call me. I'll give it to you. If you missed it, go to my Facebook page. You're going to see this on my Facebook page. If you go there, you're going to see it on uh, everything that I've got because I've got it posted everywhere. But the point of it is, I don't want you to miss out on an opportunity to get your kids prepared for this upcoming school year. It is utterly too important to lack in the knowledge that they need. Let's place more into their education so that their future, so we can prevent some of these things Absolutely. that are happening. I think when we teach them more of the violence that we see with the mm -hmm. guns will go away. Some of that will go away. They need more opportunity. I think so. And let them realize that education is the key. Absolutely. Education is the key. That key will open a lot of doors. Absolutely. And you don't have to worry about out there doing the things that we hear about. If you've got a book in your hand mm -hmm. and you're reading, you don't have time to go out there, oh, let me go get this Uzi, whatever they call them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. I just say to you, continue to do what you're doing. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I mean, continue yes, to be that blessing for the child that needs that, that, that child that needs that help to yes, get them through the school year, yes, which is every year. And parents, I say to you, don't feel bad. Nope. Feel good that there's somebody here willing to help. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And I mean, with all the, she covers everything there is to be covered, grades one through five. Actually, kindergarten through 12. I'm sorry. That program is one through five. Okay, okay. But <laughs> actually, okay, through the 12th grade, so that yes, covers everything. We, yeah, kindergarten through 12th. Yes, ma'am. So Call on her today. Mm -hmm. Wow, I can't believe that this hour has gone by so quickly. But when you've got powerful information to share, the clock doesn't go. It just ticks so, 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 so yes, fast. Yes, And she said she was going to be nervous by talking. I Wrong did. Answer. <laughs> but I told you I was going to make it comfortable. Yes, you did. And it you was did. beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, don't miss out on this opportunity to help your kids because uh, school kicks off on Monday. So make sure you reach out to Ms. Mitchell and get your child registered for that preventive measures. It's time for me to get out of here on this Monday. It's been a fantastic day, but I want to leave you as I do every single day. Never, ever, ever lose your focus. Always remember, if you keep God first, I'll guarantee you this, you're going to be a total success. So until tomorrow morning for another day of nothing but sunshine, know that I love you with a perfect kind of love. I want you to keep shining while I'm gone. And thank you so much, Ms. Mitchell, yes, for what you do. Thank you for having me. And thank you. Thank Have you. a great day, love. We'll see you tomorrow.